Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about my Erin Condren planners. I know this has been kind of a really weird year when it comes to Erin Condren, uh, the company and the person. And I know earlier, you know, months ago, I was still very much on board with Erin Condren and you know the company because I truly believed that they were on a mission to make things better to increase awareness to support you know people of color planners non planners whatever and I really felt that they were on on track to make some good changes and some some positive you know uh, some positive things but over the course of time uh, my my feelings have shifted and this is not because something specifically happened or somebody said something but just internally um, just how I was feeling how I was uh, watching things kind of unfold I really felt like, for some reason, uh, something about the company, the Erin Condren Company, EC, whatever we're calling it now, has really, something feels off. And I can't say specifically what it is, but there's something that's just not aligning with me. And like I said, it's not because something happened or there was an incident or somebody said something or somebody did something but I'm really someone who makes decisions based on um, what resonates with me what I feel intuitively um, where I'm being guided what's being shown to me uh, what I'm paying attention to and so I wanted to do this video to just kind of give you guys an update about how I'm feeling and what I'm going to do uh, with Erin Condren, at least my decision here in the planning space. Now, I have supported the company for many, many years. Uh, don't get me wrong. The products are, are wonderful. Um, you know, I mean, years ago, even before uh, the whole, you know, thing happened, uh, I never really had any problems, you know, with the company at all. There were a couple times when I had some shipping issues and there was, I think, one time when uh, things were missing from my order, but all of that, all of that got rectified very, very quickly. And I have to say, you know what, the qual for the quality and for what you get, um, I really have no complaints. But I know uh, as an influencer and as somebody who is active in the planning community, uh, you know, other people pay attention to some of the choices I make, the products I use. And also as a woman of color, um, you know, people pay attention to some of the things you say, do, use as well. So I hope this isn't sounding too uh, convoluted <laughs> because... You know, I didn't really have a plan about how I was going to, you know, discuss this video. But I guess, you know, what I'm trying to say is that I probably will not be using a whole lot of Erin Condren products for the time being. And I have to say that this decision has not been made lightly and this decision has not come out of the blue. I've kind of struggled a little bit because I really like the people that I have connected with over at Erin Condren. Like I love Sam. She is just, I mean, she couldn't be any sweeter. But there's something off. Um, there's something off with the company and I can't figure out what it is. I can't put my finger on it. Um, like I said, things that they've done have not gone unnoticed, at least as far as their efforts to do better but I'm feeling like there's a disconnect somewhere 
It's like, you know how when somebody says, oh, yeah, I'm going to do something and we're going to, you know, we're going to do something and it's going to be better. And they do the things, but there's there's not a whole lot of uh, feeling behind it. Maybe there's not a whole lot of uh, genuineness behind it. It's like, you know, it's sometimes when you're called out because you did something wrong, you apologize and then you do something different. But it's not because you did something it's not because you're really genuinely trying to make a change. It's almost like you're just kind of going through the motions because um, you just want to do something. And I'm not accusing anybody of anything, and I'm not saying that's what the company's doing, but I'm feeling like a lot of the things they're doing seem to be more surface and don't seem to have a whole lot of depth. And again, I don't want to criticize anybody because sometimes people do do the best they can, you know, with what they know. And, you know, we've all heard this saying, you know, when you know better, you do better. And so um, I do feel like the company is trying to do better. But I really can't ignore that there's something off. There's something, there's a disconnect. There's something that uh, still doesn't seem uh, whole in, in the process. And until I figure out what that is for me, again, this is just me, uh, I'm probably not going to be uh, making any future purchases anytime soon or sharing any Erin Condren products uh, here on my channel in the near future. Now, again, this is not to say that there's anything wrong. This is not to say that the products are not lovely and are not high quality and wonderful, but uh, I really just want to kind of put my focus and my attention into other products and other companies who I do feel truly align with uh, some of the, I guess, intentions that I'm trying to put forth in my own life. Now, with all of that being said, I have a lot of Erin Condren products now. If you uh, remember, I am on the EC squad. Um, I'm also an Erin Condren affiliate. And uh, like I said, the products are wonderful. So you may see a notebook pop up here and there in a photo, in a video, whatever. Uh, I have no intention of throwing anything away. I will be using the things I have, and who knows, maybe a year from now I'll feel, um, I'll feel differently, and I may want to dive back in, you know, again to, to some of these wonderful products, and, you know, uh, maybe if some things happen differently, you know, I may go back to purchasing them. But I just felt like I needed to kind of share this and let you guys know where I'm at as far as how I feel and what I'm going to do, at least for right now. Uh, this is not to say that anybody who's using Erin Condren, there's an issue with that. I, I truly don't care because I'm only going to, I'm going to stay in my lane, I'm going to stay in my box, and I'm going to do what works for me, and if it doesn't work, I just won't. And uh, I hope you guys understand that. I hope that um, the message of this video comes through genuinely because I truly, that's my intention. And uh, I just want to be transparent. Like I said, I love the products, but, you know, and I'm not going to throw away any of the things I'm, I have or the things I'm using. Uh, but just for right now, I guess you can say that my uh, association with, with the company is, is on hold. It's on pause. So uh, I think that's it. I don't want to ramble on too much in this video but I felt like that's something that needed to be said. If you guys have any questions, comments, uh, feedback, input, I would love to hear your thoughts and, you know, uh, get your feelings on this. And I think that's going to be it for this video. So <laughs> I hope you are enjoying your month. And before we close out, I am going to continue on with the Trader Joe's 12 Days of Beauty. So we're going to end this video on a high note. Uh, let's see. We are on day number eight 
and I'm looking here. Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> Took me a while to find it. But let's see what is in the 12 Days of Beauty. Oh, okay. This is something I'm kind of really excited about if I can get it out. This is the Rose Facial Oil. Now, I have seen this at Trader Joe's. Oh, gosh, I don't even think I can get it out. But this is something I have seen. Oh, no. It feels like this uh, leaked. But anyway, you can see it says Rose Facial Oil. And I don't think this is a cleanser. I think this is kind of a moisturizer. Yeah. So, I'm really excited to try this. Have you guys tried this from Trader Joe's? Uh, if you have, let me know your thoughts. All right, everybody. So, that is it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will definitely see you again tomorrow.